Let me show you what it's like to move this panel and the output coming up. That's the final spot for the day. Not final spot. Uh, come on, what are you talking about, uh, baby? <laughs> That's the spot for now. This is my 200. It's not a sunny day, but the sun is peeking out. So the next clip you'll see is how much power I'm getting from this when the sun comes back out. The sun is playing around right now. It's doing all kinds of numbers. 150, 70. Since the sun is not popping, this is what you can get on an overcast day. It's like 50 watts, man. That's good money, in my opinion. If it, man, listen, I'm happy for 50 watts. You see my deep freezer is using, what, 142? If you think about this, if this thing was full, it's only using about 100 watts. You know what I mean? So you could still run that for 12 hours, only pulling out um, 100 watts out of the dip because it's getting 50 in. The bull bed is getting 30. All right, look what we got here. Two forty nine was the highest I saw. This sun is playing game. There you go. Three something. Work something. Three twenty. God dog it. <laughs> Three sixteen. Three twelve. Now one has to wonder if that's true output or if that's the EV one twenty line to me. But this panel is maxing out. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty cool. But I don't know if you could trust those numbers, right? Okay, this is the output that I'm getting on here. My previous uh, clips I cut because the sun was too intermittent, but the sun has been consistently out. And this is what I'm getting, 308. That's pretty doggone impressive. It has been raining today, so the panels have been being cooled off by the rain. So you kind of want to take that into account, but... Uh, 300 watts, geez, I'm impressed.